wasn't it? Alrighty, everyone is ready to go, uh, except for Luke right now, who is getting his dog situated. But we're going to start the show, anyone, any, any, uh, anyway. Buenos noches, mi amigos. Mi nombre is Zavarel, accompanied by our usual cast of competitors here at Worldwide Championship Wrestling. What a show we have today. I mean, it's only been two weeks since we had one, but what a show we have today. Oh man, we couldn't help that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of lot of scheduling issues uh, happened throughout the weeks. Uh, so luckily, we're oh. able to jump back in. And what? sadly, it's right before a pay per view. So whatever matches we didn't have scheduled, we're gonna schedule them today. That sounds bad. The super fights, <laughs> super fights everywhere. Just all of a sudden, people getting their larynx crushed with chairs. <laughs> um, so let's introduce everyone since it's been a while. Uh, starting off first, we have one half of the worldwide tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen, playing Mad Mark Foley. It's Joe. Hey, hey what's up, everybody? And his tag team partner, the other half of the worldwide tag team champions, and also the number one contender for the worldwide championship, playing as Odin Ravenclaw, who is one half of the tag team champions. And playing as Savage Sparrow, the number one contender for the worldwide title, it's Luke! Yeah! 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 Everyone here today has a title. Notice Yeah. Wow. My characters do not. No, you got one character with a title. It's said half of my characters oh, have a title. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we, we can't all be golden, can we? Uh, no. And, introducing... Our Intercontinental Champion, playing Ilona, the Torch of Light of Worldwide Championship Wrestling, it's Steph. Hello. Yeah. And introducing, finally, she is your Worldwide Champion. She is the Voodoo Queen of Swing, Luna Young. It is Court. Hi. Yeah. Woo. Woo. You just want to be in the camera chat, don't you? What oh, yes. in the world is going on out there? Jushin's chewing his cage, so I'm trying to do things to distract him, and he's not having it. Well, no, mm -hmm. he's focused on one thing, and that's destroying that cage with his teeth. <laughs> he going blockers? Yeah, he likes to attack that cage with his teeth. <laughs> nice. So, I say without further ado, <laughs> let us begin tonight's episode of Worldwide Championship Wrestling. The lights go out at a jam-packed Royal Albert Hall in London, England, as the theme to Worldwide Championship Wrestling plays out over the speakers. In the middle of the ring stands a spotlight, along with our ring announcer, as he makes the announcement, Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. One fall. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> Making his way to the ring first, representing the Worldwide Championship Wrestling Dojo, Clerk Connors! Clerk. The eccentric <laughs> Clerk Connors makes his way out onto the stage, hyping himself up to a mild crowd. <laughs> the crowd went mild. They went more mild than the buffalo wings that you can't take at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, <laughs> as he makes his way to the ring, he is throwing his hands out for high fives that aren't there. He is really just hyping himself up as he makes his way down the ring, rolls under the bottom rope, gets into the corner, raising his fists up in the air to the ecstatic sound of silence. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, making her way to the ring from Weimar, Germany. She is your intercontinental champion. The crowd begins booing. She is the torch of light of worldwide championship wrestling. Ilona! The crowd boos more as Ilona makes her way into the ring. So many boos. Ooh. 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 That to be like Elvira from The Simpsons. Boobs! <laughs> Ilona makes her way to the ring. There's a lot of younger people that won't get that reference. No, there aren't. 
I appreciate that one. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> Yelona makes her way to the ring. Uh, no, I'm trying to get the crap behind me, but no one's having it, so I won't go. <laughs> I put my ring jacket on the post like I do, and get in the ring. Uh, you got your dice with you? Yeah. All right, that's good. I didn't know if they were here or not. Uh, yeah, they're in my little pouch. So I will have you roll straight forward 2d6 to see who starts this match off. I got a nine. It's going to be you. Oh. So. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I go to shake my opponent's hand. Uh, you go to shake the hand of Clerk Connors as he puts his hand out and then does the psych, rub rubbing Damn. his hand, <laughs> rubbing his hand yeah. through his, through his non-existent Got hair. <laughs> what a loser. He doesn't have hair either, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little hurt by that, but whatever. <laughs> I took it personally. <laughs> I took that person. And then I started blasting. <laughs> so then, then I started blasting. <laughs> All right. So I take my hand away after a moment of awkwardness where my Ooh. hand is just standing there and I don't get it shaken. And I go for a nice swift chop across the chest. That's going to be real. Do I have any weird steps or? Nope. Oh, no, no, not against Clerk Connors. God, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got Nobody. a nine. Got a nine? Oh, yeah, you laid it into him. So, as Clerk Connors rubs his head after psyching you out for the the, uh, the handshake, the crowd start cheering Clerk, apparently, as you <coughs> lay into him with a nasty chop that echoes throughout the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, the sound echoes through, but instead of the crowd going, woo, they go, boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> many boos. So many boos. I will. Throw the booze. A boo oh. upon your house. Booze upon my house? Booze upon your house? Yeah. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> or a boo. Oh my god. I will whip him into the corner. Alrighty. And Would then you... I will do. I'll do like a lariat. Oh, that's going to be real. Most excellent. 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 Seven. Oh, yeah. You Irish whip Clerk Connors into the corner as the, as the representative of the Worldwide Championship Wrestling Dojo careens into the corner. You charge after him, laying in a stiff clothesline into his chest, lifting his legs off the ground, and then dropping him to be seated in the corner. You are still in control of this match. I will go for... Um... I guess I will do... What's the difference between a tarantula and tree of woe? Tree of Woe is where you hook their legs up into the, the corner and they're just hanging upside down. The Tarantula is on the ropes where you are the thing that's connecting him and the ropes and you hang upside down. Okay, so I'll put him in like a Tree of Woe. Okay. And then I will kind of do like a basement drop kick. Ooh, right to the head. Okay, that's going to be that's gonna be real again. I can roll twice if you want me to. Nope. Eight. All righty. So you hook Clerk Connors into the tree of woe. He hangs upside down defenseless as he is still groggy from the clothesline that was delivered to him earlier. You go into the corner as you start to get try to kind of get the crowd behind you more. The crowd still not having it. You charge forward on Clerk Connors, leap into the air, and drive your feet into the face of Clerk Connors, knocking him further unconscious and further loopy. You are now still in control. 
I am going to bring him to the middle of the ring, and I'm going to go for the pin. You drag Clerk Connors into the middle of the ring. As you go for the cover, you hook the leg. The referee makes the count one, two, as Clerk Connors kicks out at two. The crowd erupt with cheers. <laughs> this is character <laughs> development. No one gave a shit about Clerk Connors until he fought alone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> one night well, in that England. Was to care. Yeah. One night in England, make. <laughs> you're you uh you're still in control of the match. All right, so I will. So you will. I will do a move. Um. I'll pick him up and do a lawn dart. Yep. All right, that's gonna be power. Seven. You look at the crowd as they disapprovingly cheer. As they, well, to you, disapprovingly cheer Clark Connors. You pick him up off the canvas, hoist him onto your shoulder, and then charge him face first into the middle turnbuckle. Uh, as he bounces off and then falls back into the middle of the ring on his back. Uh, you continue the dominating murder of Clerk Connors. <laughs> All right, I will go to the second rope, and I will go for my finish. All right, that'll be a straightforward 2d6. Oh, all right. So you get to tell us how beautiful oh, this good. elbow drop is. And also, you get a free move if you want it. I don't really need it, though. <laughs> you probably don't. <laughs> all right. So I'm on the second row. And just because I got a natty 12, I'll go with it. I do a nice uh, flip in the air before doing the diving elbow. And I put him away. All righty. So, yeah, you go for the cover as the referee comes forward and counts it. One, two, three. Here is your winner, Ilona. The crowd. <laughs> it's Bizarro World. Uh, Ilona, you may now celebrate in the ring. So I picked his basically lifeless body up off the ground, and I raised his arm. As the crowd <laughs> cheer. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! yeah! Okay! As Ilona raises the arm of Clerk Connors in the middle of the ring, the music of Kirsten Breaks plays as the oh roof comes God. undone. For fuck's sake. The Come roof... On. The roof nearly comes off the building as Kirsten makes her way down to the ring. She walks down to the ring with purpose, climbs in between the ropes, looks at Ilona, and then chokes out Clark Connors, throwing him out of the ring as the crowd continues cheering her. Defend himself. <laughs> I mean, woo, we didn't care about that anyway, but oh. She then gets face to face with Alona and starts talking trash, telling her that last, telling her, last time we met in the ring, you wound up sleeping in in the center. This Saturday, I'm gonna make sure you do it again. I'm taking that belt too. Damn son. Rough. Ilona. Word. I look at her. Word. <laughs> She's clearly offended. This fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is your bitch. Low blow. <laughs> I am a baby face. I love everyone. So I, I love look everyone. at her. And I say, I graciously accept your challenge. And I'm looking forward to it. Kirsten breaks. I put my hand out for a handshake. Kirsten Briggs replies to your handshake by shoving you. This fucking bitch. You're making me this real difficult to be a bit face, you know. 
<laughs> yeah. He really does. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to punch all these people, man. <laughs> I make good heels, man. <laughs> so after the shove, it's your call. You can either leave the ring or shove back. I guess I will shove back. The two ensure that I'm a serious I... contender. Nice. The two begin shoving each other in the middle of the ring, trying to get the mental advantage over the other uh, versus the challenger or versus their opponent. As security starts making their way down to the ring, separating the two into oh, different man. corners. Kirsten begins throwing fists and knees to security guard members, <laughs> trying to make her way to Alona. Alona, what are you doing during all this? Um, I accept the security guards trying to separate us, and I, I guess I go to the back. As Ilona is escorted to the backstage area, Kirsten throws another knee to another security guard, tossing him out of the ring, and then pulls herself to the ropes, screaming at her, I'll show you how a real champion acts! As Ilona Damn, makes her way to the backstage area, Kirsten is then finally brought out of the ring and brought to the back as well. As the carnage is finishing, a table is brought to the middle of the ring. As music begins playing for King Zavarel. Oh, oh bitch boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome at this time the general manager of Worldwide Championship Wrestling and 50% owner of Worldwide Championship Wrestling, King Zavarel. Zavarel makes Boo. his way. Boo. Thank you. Thank you. Who this man? Boo. Zavarel makes his way down to the ring as he enters through the ropes, microphone in hand. He lifts the microphone to his face and says, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us, not only on the return from our too long of a hiatus, but also on the historic night before we change the face of Worldwide Championship Wrestling. No longer will we have to rely on the old, tired wrestlers of yesteryear but instead, we can look to the promising, bright faces of tomorrow. What? Not only have I, not only have I changed the face of professional wrestling, I have done it in a way that will benefit professional wrestling. And it all begins with the challenger this Saturday for the Worldwide Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Savage Sparrow. Wait, I thought Savage was uh, old too. We don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, oh, I see lack of continuity here. Oh no, there's continuity. It's just you're <laughs> not gonna get a hold about that part. <laughs> Forget I ever said that. I never did. Oh, uh, I said Savage is gonna... Are you in the backstage or in the ring? I'm in the ring. Yeah, so, all right. So Savage is uh, gonna enter wearing a nice suit, and he's gonna walk down with his pipe in hand and enter the ring. All right. And uh, shake Zavarel's hand. Zavarel shakes Spar Savage Sparrow's hand right back. So I've been told there's a contract waiting for me. Yes, there is. But sadly, we have to enter, or we have to announce the other competitor. And that other competitor is your current worldwide champion, Luna Young. Luna Young makes her way. Yeah. To the yeah. Yeah. Luna, Luna, Luna. Luna, Luna, Luna. 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down to the ring. I'm, I'm nicely dressed too. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I thought that was my gimmick. 
Well, it's a signing. I gotta dress nice, you know? So yeah, I come down to the ring. I don't need a pipe like somebody, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> Sarge will wait patiently in the corner with his pipe. <laughs> <laughs> so as Luna Young takes her spot at the table, Zavarell pulls the contract from his jacket and places it in the middle. He raises the microphone to his face yet again. Now, you two are going to be competing this Saturday at Regenesis. Now, is your time to, well, make it official. Just sign the contract, say a couple words, and then wait for the magic to happen this Saturday. And out of courtesy, Luna, I will allow you to sign first. He hands the contract down to Luna Young. Yo, know, I'm I'm gonna skim this. Is there is there some kind of like clause in here? I I just need to check. Yeah, nothing. Okay, good. Yep. Um, just for the all right, title. yeah. Then, um, I'll sign it, and I say I'll say um, I ain't no puss. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Several so Several takes the contract, and then he slides it down. To Savage Sparrow. Savage will hand the pipe over to Zavarel and trade for a pen. <laughs> <laughs> the trade is a it's success. A nice little, it's a nice little handoff. <laughs> the trade. So Savage is gonna okay. read the contract thoroughly, uh, sign his name, and then go over to Zavarel and just give him just a quick second. Yep. Oh, take back the pipe in hand and hand him back the pen. And, I'm, you know, he's pointing at the contract, saying there's a problem. Uh oh So everything looks fine, but Luna, dude, spelled your name wrong. You got to fix that. Come on. Please, can we be professional and sign this properly? You didn't even look and sign your name right. Can we please just fix this? I don't want this to be a fake contract. I want this to actually be legitimate. All right. And pass it over. I'll roll the pen over to you so you can actually fix your mistake. Oh, yeah? Are you going to pass me the contract, too? Or are you yeah, going to keep that over? The contract. It's yeah. on a table, I assume. Yeah, okay. It's it slid down. Oh. I slide both things down for you to look over and fix. All right. I'm going to do a like, quick look up. Look, I'm going to do the quick look down, look up, and say, no. <laughs> I passed the lead pipe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I was wondering where that was going. <laughs> we are going to yeah, be switching. I thought it was going to go. All right. So, Savage, you will be sw er, rolling for real then. Must I? <laughs> oh, there it is. Here it is. Not Odin. <laughs> Roll the right person this time. Okay, that would be... What am I doing? Real. Real. Seven. So I rolled an eight, so seven. Yep. So as Luna looks back up, Savage Sparrow has already rushed her with the pipe and takes a swing at her. Uh, where are you swinging here? Um, swinging low, going for them legs. Ooh! Taking yeah. out the legs of the It'll worldwide champion. Hitting her in the legs, taking her down. As Savage, uh, what's next for you? Uh, continue the pummeling. Oh, great. That's real again. <laughs> a ten, so a nine. <laughs> so Savage just begins wailing away with the pipe on the worldwide champion, Looney Young, just absolutely having a field day with this. Uh, he leaves the champion battered on the ground with the title laying next to her. Savage will pick the contract up and hand it to Zavarel. Zavarel. Looks good. Zavarel takes the contract, puts it back into his jacket, grabs the worldwide championship, and hands it to Savage Sparrow to lift into the air. It's actually disgusting. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. He will raise it. Raise it proud. <laughs> Zavarel <laughs> motions to Savage Sparrow 
as a harbinger of what might come this Saturday. As, as the two leave the ring, Looney Young rolls straight forward 2d6. Fucking course I do. Oh, I'm supposed to do this? You know, <laughs> this is kind of shitty. You're old. <laughs> I got a 10, slut. <laughs> 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 This, this probably isn't even the worst beating I've gotten either. No, I mean, bro. I don't know, a it's lot. a lead pipe. It's a lead pipe. Well, yeah, we're. Yeah, but it was in the legs. I only hit her in the leg and then a couple times somewhere else. Legs. I didn't target the face. Legs can get hurt. I with a guitar in the head. A couple times. I see, yeah. A lot. I think well, for the first season, it really hurt for a little while there. Well, anyway. Luna Young makes it out of the ring on her own volition. I ain't no pose. <laughs> t-shirts. T-shirts. Buy the t-shirt now. T-shirts. Just gonna say, I ain't no puss. Luna Young takes her championship okay. and walks to the backstage area. As the ring announcer makes it back into the ring, the lights go down with a spotlight shined upon him. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event and is for the World Wide Tag Team Championships. Making their way to the yeah. ring first, <laughs> representing the United Kingdom, Jack Tracy and Lawrence Jackson, the Union Jacks. Hey. What, what? Oh, there he is. Why, why laughing? Why, why laughing? They'd be booed. They'd be Jack booed. Tracy and who? Jack Tracy Sorry. and Lawrence Jackson. <laughs> the Union Jacks. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> the, the team represent or the team from Newcastle makes their way out onto the stage as they lift their hands up in triumphant uh, I get you yeah, yeah it would be triumphant since this is their first time live on Twitch. <laughs> they make their way yeah. down to the ring high five and taking photos with the crowd and then slide into the ring and prepare for their opponents. What are you drinking there, Lou? Holy Donut. What, what? Oh, oh, Holy Donut. Yeah, okay. That's right. You said it was really good. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. I don't think it's a high percentage, though. Well, probably not. Yeah. That stuff I was drinking Tuesday definitely was 14%. Jesus that was a real beer. Yeah, that was a beer, Not too. 7.5. I'm actually halfway to where you were. <laughs> Yay. Huzzah. And making their way to the ring, the champions. Representing Fossil Force, Mad Mark Foley and Odin Ravenclaw. The worldwide tag team yeah. champions make their way to the ring. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Yeah! It's like wearing a very poorly fitted suit. It looks like it's going to burn. Just on him. Wait, Odin oh, no. is? Yeah. It looks like it's going to burst on him if he moves the wrong way. Just for like no so reason. He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna walk down and. As soon as we get to the ring, it's gonna flex and watch it disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> and Mad Mark, how are you entering now? Uh, I'm just high fiving and I'm just gonna hop up on the second row and meet my partner over in the corner. As Odin flexes and destroys that fucking suit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's gonna start this match first? Yeah. Uh, I'll roll for it. Four. Four from Luke. Six. <laughs> uh, Mad Mark is starting this one. I guess I will. So Mad Mark starts the match off as Odin gets to outside the ring as Jack Tracy is the one that is going to start things off for the Union Jacks. Uh, I'll have you roll straight forward 2d6 to see who starts this match. Eight. Uh, it's going to be you. Alrighty, so what would you like to do to start this match off? I think we're going to do a running, just double knees to his chest in his own corner there. Well, that's going to be real. 
<laughs> oh, well, it's 11 plus one. Oh, damn. All right. So as the bell rings, Mad Mark Foley immediately on the offensive as he l lunges forward towards Jack Tracy, leaping into the air and driving his knees into the sternum of the one half of the Union Jacks, dropping him down onto his hands and knees as he tries to recollect the breath that was lost from the maneuver. Uh, you are still in control of Mad Mark. Um, I think I'm just going to do a basic suplex. Uh, that'll be power. Which one started? Uh, Jack Tracy. Ten, so minus one, right, for power? Yeah, minus yep, one. Minus yeah, one. so yeah. nine. Nine? All righty. So as he is hunched on his hands and le hands and knees, you wrap your arm around his head, picking him up from the ground with a deadlift suplex and then driving him onto his back, the sound echoing throughout the Royal Albert Hall as you continue the assault on one Jack Tracy. I think I'll go for a leg drop. Leg drop? That's going to be real. Nine, so plus one, ten. As he lay on the ground, holding his bait, or holding, yeah, holding his bake, uh, holding his back in pain and agony, Mad Mark bounces off the ropes, running towards Jack Tracy, leaping into the air, and then dropping a leg on the neck of one of uh, the Union Jack tag member. Uh, you are still in control. I think I want to throw him over to uh, Odin. All righty. Uh, any... If he wants to get in. All righty. Uh, any big maneuvers or anything, or just tagging out? Um, I'll throw him into him. Maybe... Uh... Uh... You know, maybe it's like... I'll throw him into the turnbuckle. I'll tag Odin in. Odin can start whomping on him, and then, well, yeah, maybe I'll just try to, maybe I'll just throw him face first in the turnbuckle and tag Odin in. Oh, all righty. So, as Mad Mark Irish whips Jack Tracy into the corner, he hits the turnbuckle sternum first as he stays there. Mad Mark walks over and tags the big man Odin Ravenclaw in. Odin, you are. Now legal in this match. Odin is going to both hands around the throat and pick him up and slam him right back into the same corner. Oh, God. That's going to be power. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on. What happened? That's a seven, so a ten. All right. So you grab... Uh, so are you, like, doing this so he's facing you, or is he still facing outside? Yeah, yeah. He's, outside? Looking, at, he's okay. looking at me. Okay. As Odin gets steps over the top rope... He grabs Jack Tracy, spins him around, grabs him by the neck, puck, takes him out of the corner, lifts him back up into the air, and then just slams him back first into the corner again. Uh, Odin, you are continuing this. Uh, Odin is <laughs> going to lay some boots into this corner. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is going to be real. No, it's not. That's a one total. <laughs> As oh. Odin oh. gets over... Wait, what? <laughs> it was one total? Three. You rolled a two? Oh, I rolled a three oh, rolled with a, three, a minus yeah. two. <laughs> yep, I know how to math, I swear. Uh, so As Odin goes to put boots to Jack Tracy, he lifts his leg up. Jack Tracy grabs his leg and tr uses all of his might to prevent the foot from moving any further and then kicks Odin in the knee on his stable leg, dropping the big man down to one knee. Jack Tracy rolls to the side and then tags in his partner, uh, Lawrence Jackson. Lawrence now is the legal man in as he charges forward after Odin threaten or threatening some sort of running maneuver. Odin, what would you like to do? Court, can you tell Pablo to still jump on? Jump on, says okay. Bruce. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I've got a man running at me. You have a man running at you. What would you like to do about yeah, that man, man running at you? I'm going to crossbody him. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be work. His favorite. He did it. That's a nine, so an eight. 
as yeah. as right. Lawrence Jackson charges after Odin, Odin leaps from his feet or leaps from his one need position and launches his body at him, taking him down to the ground and crushing him underneath him. Uh, Odin, what would you like to do here, bud? Drag him to our corner, and uh, I'm going to do a tag move. I got a pretty good idea for this one. What you got? All right. So I'm going to drag him up to the corner, stand him up to his feet, and Odin's basically just going to hold him by his hands where he's not touching the ground, and he's basically just a punching bag. Oh, okay. Uh, for, so um, for Mark. Mark. All right, so Odin, that will be power, and Mark, that'll be real. Oh, he is he is there for sure. That is a 12 total. Oh. Or 12, I got 10 natural plus 12. one. Wait, hang on. Sorry. Oh. I rolled. Yeah, that's a natural 12. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. So nice. after after Mad Mark gets his punches in, you get a free move. Um. So, and what'd you get, Mark? I got a 11, 10 plus one. Jeez. All right. Uh, would Odin trade his um move to me, maybe for a springboard DDT or something? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. On his shoulders. It. Yeah, we can do this. All right, Go so uh, as as Mad Mark gets into the as Mad Mark is tagged into the match, he climbs in between the ropes and begins throwing punches at the suspended Lawrence Jackson, who is far from being close to the ground. Uh, Odin then holds him into position as Mad Mark springboards off the ropes, grabbing him by the head and then tornado DDTing him into the middle of the ring right onto the canvas. Uh Mad Mark, you are in control here tonight. I'm gonna go for the pen. Going I think to the that's corner. It. Mad the, uh, Mark is corner. What happened? I'm blocking. <laughs> oh you're blocking? Uh that will be power. If Mark's pinning. Yeah, you're gonna block him? Yeah, I'm gonna block the the opponent yep so I'm, I'm having you roll power <laughs> no that's a three so oh. that's a six <laughs> so <Not> today <laughs> as odin oh, as God, odin no. tries to block the way for jack tracy tracy leaps into the ring and slides between the big man's legs and then drops the double axe handle on mad mark breaking up the pinfall uh yeah odin what would you like to do here We're probably hey, just going to grab, uh, <laughs> I'm going to grab, uh, Tracy with me and drag him out of the ring. <laughs> Power. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to grab him and just, <laughs> oh, take him with me. Oh, okay. That'll be power. Yes, he is gone. That is a nine. So a 12. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Odin Ravenclaw grabs Jack Tracy by the neck and carries him to the side of the ring stepping over the top rope and then having the other leg follow suit. He then lifts Jack Tracy over his head in a gorilla press position and then launches him into the crowd. <laughs> Fans move out of the way as Jack Tracy oh, lands on the concrete past the barricade. Uh, Odin, or, uh, Mad Mark, you are in control of this match now uh, heading forward. Uh, what would you like to do next? I think I'm going to be with Jackson, the DDT. All righty. That is going to be straightforward 2D6. Uh, is Pablo actually jumping on or no? Yeah, he should be. Okay. I got seven plus one, so eight. All righty. So yeah. as, as Mad Mark stands in the ring with the final Union Jack member, Lawrence Jackson, he picks him up, kicks him in the stomach, and then puts him in position for the blackout DDT. He smacks him on the back and drops him head first. Uh, going for the pin? Yes. He rolls over Lawrence Jackson onto his back and goes for the cover as the referee counts it. One, two, three. Here are your winners and still worldwide tag team champions. Mad Mark Foley and Odin Ravenclaw. Right on time. Yeah. Uh, Fossil Force may celebrate in the ring. Oh, buddy! High five, hugs. Let's go.
<laughs> yeah, big time. Ready for more? Vegas to hugs. <laughs> oh yeah, you probably picked me off the bug there. <laughs> swings him around. <laughs> yeah. As this happens, music or as the music continues playing, Dino Barney makes his way down to the ring, microphone in hand. Now, I know. I probably haven't been here a while. None but of that's because there's been some there's been some real important shit going on. And now let me tell you, I think I deserve to be bigger. I think that King Zavarel should fight me in the ring, mano y mano, 1v1. Ooh. I think I'm demanding a match at Regenesis. As Dino oh, stands oh. in the ring with his fellow Fossil Force members... Zavarell makes his way out onto the stage, microphone in hand. Dino, <laughs> you always were funny. You always were funny. But to go one-on-one -on -one with me? I don't know if you've known this or anything. But so far, the season of Worldwide Championship Wrestling, I have been undefeated. I am 1-0. In worldwide championship wrestling and I would like to I'd like to take your challenge I really would but I think you need to earn it that's why you have a match at Regenesis against this man as as the announcement is made over the speakers a heavy force is felt getting into the ring as oh, the members no. of Fossil Force turn to find Mastodon. He lifts oh, no. Mad Mark off his feet and slams him with the Ugh. world's strongest slam. He then no. meets up face to face with Odin as the two exchange shots, going blow for blow until ultimately Mastodon is standing triumphantly over him as well. He then grabs Dino Barney. And bodies and slams him down with the world's strongest slam as well, and then he gives the mighty splash onto Dino. Zavarel, Zavarel then holds the microphone up and says, "And if you beat him this Saturday, then at War Zone in September." You can have a match with me. Until then, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. We hope to see you all this Saturday at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Time for Regenesis. Good night. As the lights fade to black, ending yet another episode of Worldwide Championship Wrestling.